Hi there learners, today we're going to be talking about bar scales. So here you can see here's a typical bar scale that you'll find on a map and we can see these bars, I'm just going to color in every second one and we can see that it ranges from zero all the way through to 50 kilometers. Okay, so what do they want us to do with this? Well, you'll find this on a map. And they're going to ask you to take this and convert it into a ratio scale. You know, the one that you normally find in your map. Remember, this one. Our normal scale that you'll find in the map. But it won't always be there. Sometimes it'll come up as a bar scale. So the first thing they might ask you to do is to actually take this and change it into what we see over here. So let's go and do it. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to measure the distance within the block. So what is the measurement from this point all the way to the end of that block? In this case, I know because I've measured it, it's one centimeter. So what is that actually saying to us? Well, what it's saying is the following. One centimeter, and we put in our colon, is equal to what? 10 kilometers. And there we go. My one centimeter that I measure on the map is equal to 10 kilometers in real life. And we term this the actual distance. Now they say to us, well, okay, now that you've got that, let's actually work out what that actual distance would be if you are given a particular map measurement. So let's use a map measurement of five centimeters. And they ask you, well, with a map measurement of five centimeters, what would the actual distance be? So the first thing we need to do is what we've just done here. So that is step one. Once we've done that, we then bring our five centimeters down. Remember, when I look at this scale, this is my map measurement, my map measurement. And this is my actual distance. Now, what have I been given? I've been given the map measurement. So, five centimeters. But I don't know what the actual distance is. That's why I'm doing this calculation. So, how did I get from one centimeter to five centimeters? I've multiplied by five. And what I do to the one side, I have to do to the other side. And what's going to happen when I multiply by five? I'm going to end up with 50 kilometers. And that then is my actual distance that I've been able to calculate using my bar scale. Now, using the same principle, what happens if I get the actual distance and not the map measurement. Well, let's do one. I'm using the exact same example, so I know it's one centimeter is to 10 kilometers. Now they tell me to work out the map measurement, maybe on, let's say, 50 kilometers. So the actual distance is 50 kilometers. And what do I do with that? I bring that down here, 50 kilometers but I don't know what the map measurement is. So now I'm going to do the reverse. I'm going to divide my 50 into the 10 kilometers, and then I'm going to multiply that by my one centimeter, and it's gonna give me an answer in centimeters. And that's going to give me five centimeters. Now you can clearly see how I've been able to take my bar scale, calculate my actual distance, and also calculate my map measurement. 